help us understand what Sierra Leone's law says about a treason charge. Well, treason is um, is one of the the most um, heinous um, charges anyone can get in Sierra Leone. So basically, it says you are tempted to overthrow the government unconstitutionally. Normally, a government that is constitutionally elected, and um, until more recently, people who are normally charged and are found guilty are actually uh, put to death. So that's how serious this um, this, this crime is. On, but now, what it actually means is, um, since um, the death penalty had been abolished in Sierra Leone, it would imply that uh, whoever is charged and found guilty for treason will actually spend a significant amount, if not all of their lives in prison behind bars. Um, but that was just one of four charges that the president was charged with, including what they call misprison of treason, and then two charges of harboring. Uh, Mr. Uh, Rogers here, we understand that Mr. Koroma is under house arrest, but there are uh, talks to possibly relocate him to Nigeria in exchange for dropping these treason charges. Uh, what more do you know about this? Well, the letter that I saw, which I think was written by Umar Ali Touré, which who is the president for the ECOWAS Commission, basically um, <clears throat> was asking the Sierra Leone government to to abide by what they, he said they had agreed on, which may, which implied the government had agreed that um, President Kuroma, former President Kuroma, would be relocated to Nigeria, and Nigeria had actually accepted to do that, and the president, President Kuroma, former president, had actually accepted the offer. Um, so there are a couple of agreements there. I think ECOWAS is really trying to broker at some kind of peace here and kind of bring down the tension. But the foreign minister, um, Mr. Timothy Kaba, in a, I think in an interview had said um, that letter doesn't reflect what they had discussed and that the government will not, um, in his own words, countenance what the demand ECOWAS is making. So as we speak, I think the, pres the former president is still in Freetown under house arrest where he has been since he since the events, um, the coup on mm -hmm. November right. 6th. Uh, uh, Stephen, very quickly, what, politi what would be the political implications of having Mr. Koroma relocated to Nigeria or being imprisoned within Sierra Leone? Well, regardless of the outcome, I mean, I think what has happened currently in Sierra Leone is really a reversal of the political gains that we have made since the end of the war. Now, clearly, I could see ECOWAS trying to broker peace here because Mr. Kuroma represents a major party, which is the main opposition, and he has a lot of following. So whether the government has a case, obviously, at least up to about half of the population or a significant number of the population is going to be backing the president. So while there is need for justice, absolutely, because who is unconstitutional, and I think um, that it should be investigated, but also there is also the and the need to be very sensitive to a very fragile democracy that we have in Sierra Leone. So I think um, regardless of the outcome, I think somehow the president and the government in power has to be very uh, careful how this is handled.